All right, this Justin, President Biden will approve another $7.4 billion in student loan bailouts today. 277,000 borrowers are going to have their debt canceled as a part of the Biden administration's SAVE plan. Oh, isn't that convenient? He's also underwater with students and young Americans, so here comes more money. The administration has already cut $153 billion in loan forgiveness. Meanwhile, White House Press Secretary KJP says the new move is helping Americans. The SAVE plan is helping millions of people who earn less than $15 per hour have a monthly payment of $0 and is helping some borrowers get their debts canceled faster. The president will continue fighting to give people more breathing room and using every tool at his disposal to help borrowers. This comes after the president announced separate plans to relieve student debt for more Americans, which is estimated to cost $84 billion. He's not forgiving it. He's putting it on other people. <laughs> right. You know, it's not, he's, not, he's not just erasing it. He's not paying it out of his pocket. If he's paying it out of his pocket, the Delaware, uh, you know, the, the fortune that he has assumed, that he's amassed, that's no problem. But he's doing it and putting it into the big pot. Every month we had a trillion to the debt, and now we're just arbitrarily deciding the college graduates don't need to pay back the their loans. The question is, how are we going to pay for this? We're already in debt. Mortgage rates, look at those. They were January 2022, 3.2%. Remember those days? Now it's almost 7%. Almost. Wall Street Journal did an article about this, talking about how um, under Trump, prices were stable and uh, prices didn't rise significantly until Biden's first year in office. They talk about three different individuals. One couple moved into their three-bedroom rental with their three children in 2021. Their plan was only to stay for a year, they determined they still can't afford to buy. Right. Then her sister, who's a mother of three, lives down the street. She's stuck in her home because the cost has deterred them from buying a larger home. And then Emily Farrell, they talk talked to, had to withdraw an offer on her house in Colorado last week because the final rate from her lender right. she thought was going to be 7.5 percent. It ended up being 8.9 percent. That's a thousand dollars more a month and she can't afford it. It's killing a lot of people. And, and here's the thing. It's all because of inflation. And we saw it starting with Joe Biden. Inflation was like 1.9 percent, I think, when uh, he took office. And then because Congress flooded uh, the entire world with so much free money, uh, prices went through the roof. Inflation approached 10%. Just take a look at the prices comparing when Joe Biden took office as they are right now. And as you can see, the number under under the, each of these items is the number to pay attention to. Butter is up 23%. Flour is up about 25%. Chicken is up 25%. Bread is up 30%. And a dozen eggs is up 104%. That's how much more money you have to make to afford your items right. that you were buying. And, and here's the thing. So, so many young people are struggling. They're living in their parents' basement. Mm -hmm. They're still on their parents' uh, phone plans and stuff like that. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.